Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, our latest of our devotional messages we'd like to share with you all today. This is Friday the uh, 17th, and we are preparing for this coming Lord's Day as we gather together again virtually at this time. And I want to give a special thank you to uh, John Crouch, who has made this possible for us all. So thank you, John. We appreciate that. And let's all give him a big hand clap right now. Okay. Um, I'd like to read uh, together with you from Psalm 46. It says here, To the choir master of the sons of Korah, according to Alamoth, a song. In Psalm 46, ESV, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, and though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. Selah. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our fortress, Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Selah. Let us bow together in prayer. Father, I pray that you'll help us as we seek to know you better as a result of hearing and seeing your word today. May the word of Christ richly dwell within us, we pray in Christ's precious name. Amen. Now, there's uh, several things we want to see in this passage. Um, Psalm 46 is oftentimes used in times of trouble and difficulty. And, of course, we're facing one of the most difficult periods of times in the history of our nation. And at the very same time, we have a sovereign God who knows all about this and is concerned for us and will bless us and encourage us. And I pray that each and every one of us might hear and respond to the message of the gospel through this period of time. I want to look at um, Psalm 46, and the title is, When Our World is Shaking. When Our World is Shaking, and it seems like our world is shaking right now. Many of us are struggling uh, physically, some emotionally with the stress that's going on in this uh, pandemic. But we turn to the Lord, we turn to the God uh, who is our refuge and strength. Psalm 46, verse 1. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. A very present help in trouble. And there are several things that we see uh, out of this passage. We see and hear about God's presence. We hear and read about his peace. And we read about his promises as well. The first thing we see is God's presence. God is our refuge. And we are reminded of Psalm 23, the very personal nature of, of the relationship that the psalmist had with his God. The Lord is my shepherd. 
and he he directs us and guides us through sometimes the most difficult places in life and yet we know the bible says he's with us he'll always be with us and the bible in psalm 46 tells us he is a very present help in trouble a very present help in trouble we're grateful today for a god who is a very present help in the troubles that we face in our lifetime and the bible uh, tells us uh, more about his peace in verses 2 through 7 he says therefore we will not fear though the earth gives way though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea and he says therefore as a result of the fact of verse 1 that god is our refuge and god is our strength and he is a very present help in trouble we have a savior we have a god who cares and knows about our need and your need today and as we look at um, verse 2 of psalm 46 he says therefore as a result of the fact that god is our refuge and help in a very present time in trouble he though therefore we will not fear we will not fear this is a promise that god has given to all of us as we seek to know him better and to grow in his grace and to help us not to be fearful in times like these we can have peace with god and that is so amazing to think about that even in the midst of the difficulties and stresses and difficulties we're facing even right now that god is going to give us his peace and we're thankful for that psalm 46 if you'll notice begins and ends with god it talks about here at verse 1 god is our refuge god is our refuge and at the end of the chapter it says at verse 10 be still and know that i am god be still and know that i am god and in verse 11 the lord of hosts is with us the lord of hosts is with us and the god of jacob is our fortress and that one last word is sela s-e-l-a and many bible scholars understand that to mean that the word even though it may be uh, untranslatable or lost in antiquity means be still and know that i am god be still and know that i am god well we end this uh, psalm today as a just a short devotional to help us to face uh, this next day the next hours as we trust in the lord with all of our heart and do not lean on our own understanding but in all our ways acknowledge him and he will direct our paths let's bow together in prayer father i do pray that you will bless us and help us to know you better it was as a result of being together today for it's in christ's precious and holy name we pray amen we'll be back uh, with more devotionals and i trust that uh, the lord will bless us as we continue to try to keep a community and getting together uh, as many ways as we possibly can virtually and uh, we thank the lord for your being with us today and we're going to pray 
for you. Mary Jane and I are praying for you and your family. And as we gather together uh, on this coming Lord's Day virtually, that the Lord Jesus will be glorified in our lives. For it's, it's a wonderful thing that we can gather together this way. And may the Lord bless you and keep you today.